Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Amelia Earhart Museum announced in Pioneer's hometown. Sam Graves selected for Transportation Committee. Sky Design's RV-10 Extended Range Tanks take flight. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Amelia Earhart Museum announced in Pioneer's hometown. Aeronautical pioneer Amelia Earhart made her infamous Hawaiian journey 88 years ago, making herself a cool $10,000 in prize money and earning a spot in aviation history. The journey from the mainland U.S. to the islands had come to be seen as fraught with danger after amounting 10 fatalities between a series of attempts. At the time, Hawaiian promoters and sugar barons were eagerly awaiting the forecasted influx of tourist money that air travel would surely bring, leading to their offer of some serious prize money for 1935, more than $215,000 in today's script. Since then, her story has gone on to influence generations of female aviators looking to the foundations of the industry for inspiration. Earhart's namesake charity, the Atchison Amelia Earhart Foundation, marked the 88th anniversary of her flight with the announcement of a museum bearing her name. The Amelia Earhart Hangar Museum in Atchison, Kansas will be an interactive, STEM-focused educational tour of her life, opening next April. Karen Seberg, founder and president of the Atchison Amelia Earhart Foundation, said, quote, It has been a great adventure to build this state-of-the-art museum worthy of Amelia Earhart's legacy in her Atchison, Kansas hometown, end quote. And after the break, NATA updates fueling guidelines. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John K. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. NATA updates fueling guidelines. NATA has updated its Safety First General Aviation Misfueling Prevention Program with new data pertaining to newly approved unleaded APGAS. The program is a quote, free online training resource for pilots, line service professionals, and other aircraft refueling stakeholders, end quote, aimed at easing the transition from traditional leaded fuels to more eco-friendly unleaded variants as they enter widespread use. With the number of fuels available at fields across the country, mishaps can become increasingly common, something that safety first operational best practices should help to prevent. Sport Air Workshops Return to Lakeland Those looking to build or restore an aircraft can avail themselves of the upcoming two-day Sport Air Workshop courses at Lakeland, Florida. During the EAA course, attendees will pick up all the basics and essentials covering modules like electrical systems and avionics, sheet metal basics, and fiberglass techniques for RV aircraft. To better accommodate students, two separate dates have been established from February 4th through 5th and 11th through 12th. Skyways Skystep approved for Canadian Citation Operators Transport Canada has approved Skyways Cessna Citation Skystep modification, adding to the company's roster of approvals. To date, the Skystep system has been STC approved by the FAA, the EASA, Brazilian ANAC, and the TCCA. The Skystep fits everything from the classic Citation C500 to the most modern CJ3+, allowing any operator an easy, turnkey safety improvement across all airport conditions. 
The original citation's, quote, spindly shortcomings, unquote, are replaced with a stable, robust, self-contained stair for easy embarkation, no matter how wet or slippery the conditions. Gamma issues statement on safety management system proposal. Gamma weighed in on the FAA's notice of proposed rulemaking regarding the safety management system. Gamma President and CEO Pete Bunn said that its own SMS recommendations have seen use by the EASA abroad as part of its best practices package before expressing enthusiastic reception to the idea of the FAA following suit. He stopped short of explicitly approving of the proposed SMS rule, only stating that Gamma is looking forward to reviewing and commenting on the FAA's work. And that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Sam Graves selected for Transportation Committee. U.S. Congressman Sam Graves has been selected to serve as chairman of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. The selection puts one of aviation's own in charge of one of the biggest movers and shakers of the transportation industry, with oversight of a multitude of operational considerations throughout the country. Graves is hoped to be the right man for the job, bringing years of experience as a commercially rated pilot and down-to-earth Missouri farmer. In accepting the role, Graves issued a statement outlining his goals and expectations for the TNI committee. Quote, when I first came to Congress, I fought hard to serve on the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. It's now one of the greatest honors of my life to be chosen by my colleagues to chair what I believe is one of the most important and effective committees in Congress. America cannot prosper without a safe and efficient transportation network that meets the economic needs of our diverse states and communities. TNI will have a full agenda over the next two years, including oversight of the administration, its implementation of the massive $1.2 trillion infrastructure law, and its policies that have exacerbated many of the economic crises facing our nation." End quote. And after these messages, Sky Design's RV-10 extended range tanks take flight. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Sky Design's RV-10 Extended Range Tanks Take Flight. Sky Design's new RV-10ER Extended Range Fuel Tank Kit is already airborne only a few months after beginning shipments in the summer of 2022. The first to use the kit was Richard Connell of Sydney, Australia. His RV-10, assisted by local builder assist company Synergy Air South, took to the skies in June of 2022. Connell noted that the ER tanks would add considerable range and endurance. Quote, the primary mission is to be able to fly out to the in-laws and return without refueling. It's a 300 nautical mile trip from Sydney to their ranch, which has its own grass airstrip. In the 15 years I've been doing that trip in the RV-7, I've been caught out by no fuel on the way back with headwinds or at the destination quite a few times. It just gets too close for comfort. An extra hour of endurance would completely solve this problem. Two hours is even better, end quote. The standard RV-10 sports a 50-gallon capacity in total, with the extended tanks bringing the total up to 68 U.S. gallons. That's an improvement from 25 gallons to 34 gallons in each wing, with only two more wing rib bays used further out along the wings. Overall, the tanks only add 4.5 pounds of empty weight. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.